Hey guys, it's Suna, and welcome back to Is This Legit, where we debunk viral claims being shared on YouTube and give you some media literacy tools so you can fact check on your own. Today's topic, climate change. So for years, we've seen misinformation being circulated online about the climate. But recently, there's been talk online that Bill Gates now plans to block the sun. Take a look at this clip I found on YouTube. I don't know how much you got it, how much it's going to cost, how much you put in, how much it, you know, what's the side effects? Are anybody going to be allergic to calcium carbonate? Is it going to bother people who got respiratory issues, bronchitis, asthma? You got to ask yourself all oh, those different things. And how do you run a trial for this? What do you go to, you know, do you know they're going to go to somewhere in Africa and put in their atmosphere first? And what if it leads to something? It's just, it's mad evil scientists here, dude. But is Bill Gates really going to spray dust into the atmosphere to block the sun? Like the YouTube title says, time to find out. Is this legit? So in the video, the YouTuber says that Bill Gates is going to spray calcium carbonate into the air as a way to combat climate change and raises some potential health questions. There also seemed to be a lot of confusion about what all this meant on Twitter, with some people questioning how blocking the sun would affect solar panels. Other tweets, like in the video, said this sounded more like a move from a mad scientist. But before we jump into the fact check, I just want to stress how important context is. Obviously, with zero additional information, reading on social media that Bill Gates is going to block the sun could sound pretty alarming. So keep that in mind whenever you see short attention grabbing phrases or clickbaity headlines. I mean, take this headline for example. This is a commentary piece from Western Journal, a conservative news and political website. You see what I mean? Not a lot of information there. So remember, if you see really sensationalized headlines, just take the time to make sure that you have the full story. Okay, let's get into it. To fact check this, first I did a quick keyword search. I used words like Bill Gates, spray dust, and block the sun. And I found this fact check. According to the article, here's what's true. For the past 14 years, Bill Gates has funded research and provided grants for solar radiation management experiments. One of the projects being supported by Gates is named Scopex. But again, here's why context is so important. The objective of Scopex isn't to block the sun. That is just not true. Instead, Scopex is an experiment that will collect data in order to investigate the impacts of solar geoengineering. Basically, the most this experiment will do is release about 4.4 pounds of calcium carbonate, which is a non-toxic dust, 12 miles in the sky through the use of a weather balloon. This will happen above the Arctic. So the theory is that by putting particles in the stratosphere, this could reflect sun back into space, reducing the amount of sunlight that hits the surface, and as a result, cool down the planet. Of course, what goes up must come down, and the data gathered during this experiment would help computer models analyzing the risk of geoengineering. Here's where the controversy comes into play. If you're not familiar with what geoengineering is, it's sometimes called climate intervention. It's basically a deliberate intervention in the Earth's climate system to counteract climate change. Some fear that it could come with unintended and dangerous consequences. Others fear that if geoengineering became a solution, it would only encourage further fossil fuel use. But again, context. According to the article, the first flight with the weather balloon is still waiting approval from Harvard and that flight would be just to test the balloon, not to release the calcium carbonate dust. It's also important to note that when the experiment is performed, it will be very small scale. There is no way the amount of non-toxic dust above the Arctic is capable of altering our climate. I decided to also head directly to the source, the Scopex website. I checked out the frequently asked questions. According to the website, the test will pose no significant hazard to people or the environment. I did another keyword search and I found this video on PBS of the scientists talking about the experiment. It turns out the amount of material the experiment is putting out is less than the normal airplane flight. But now seems like a good time to recap. While Bill Gates is one of the Scopex funders, the experiment is overseen by advisors run by Harvard. Additionally, this experiment wouldn't actually block or dim the sun. Instead, the experiment would put a small amount of non-toxic dust above the Arctic to help inform computer models that look into the potential risk of actual geoengineering. For those reasons, we'll give the claim that Bill Gates is going to block the sun 
as mostly not legit. But before you go, here's one more media literacy tip. It's always important to question how a post or a claim makes you feel. Posts that spark an intense emotional reaction like anger or fear are usually missing context. And that's a sign that you should stop and fact check. I hope that helped. If you're interested in more fact checks and media literacy tips like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. Plus follow us on all social media at MediaWise. Don't compromise, be MediaWise.